You see, uh, this uh, we, we, we just addressed the issue of a, a, a nation that is in decline. And almost every day, the symptoms are showing. Just today again, uh, another 300 set of young uh, Nigerians, girls in Zamfara got abducted. Isn't that, do we have a government? Do we have a political system? And that's the same state where we are in and what the, uh, 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 what, uh, uh, the Speaker of the House has converted the House to is uh, a poaching ground for APC. Instead of the serious legislation to check leadership and deal with issue, uh, issue, issues we have, and so on. Issues of insecurity, issue, issues of corruption, issues of poverty, and so on. However, <laughs> what I've said about all of these problems we have in Nigeria, you need a clear-headed leadership, justice, and appreciation of diversity principles and values. If you have it, our security men and women will be, will be in high morale. And the problem we have in Nigeria will not be there. I want to tell you about this. I, frankly, I, I don't feel disturbed anymore. Or I, I mean, I'm, I'm no longer surprised, let me use the better word, when I hear of some of, the issue, uh, some of the things that happen in the country, as far as security is concerned. I just said it here, Abacha said that if insecurity, insurgency continue for 24 hours, more than beyond 24 hours, that the people in the system are responsible. The government is responsible. What is happening in Nigeria, disgracing Nigeria, bringing uh, Nigeria so low before the world, APC and PDP are responsible because they, they are the two parties in, govern, in government. They are responsible. Can you explain why you said that these two parties are responsible? Particularly in the kidnapping. It's happening daily in the uh, Northwest. Why is it happening? Not number one, they are complicit. The, the politicians in these areas are complicit. I can assure you that they have the phone numbers, they have the contact of some of the people who are committing this dastardly act. And you know, at times when certain things happen, although uh, for now nothing concrete has been said about it, I felt a great pain when uh, last Sunday the, the Air Force jet that was traveling to uh, Niger State got crushed. I felt a great pain and I saw sabotage. Because it, it, uh, in that plane, some of the best recognizers officers were involved and they were going to Niger State. What happened? So while I'm not inferring anything, but I'm saying that what is happening now, the government knows what is happening. They want to intimidate all of us. They want to intimidate the opposition. They want to intimidate everybody so that we will now allow them to form the one party Nigeria that they want to form. But one party Nigeria without clear leadership is a failed state. One party Nigeria without clear leadership is a failed state. I wish they can change. But should we continue to watch them using, particularly when money is being used in negotiation with these criminals? Bandits and they are here to describe as terrorists. But should we continue negotiating with criminals? We, we, should, we, we shouldn't. We shouldn't negotiate with criminals. I, I, for, you know, it's, 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 it's painful, but you know, the military, the commander in chief of the Nigerian military is uh, the president of the country, he's an APC member. We have one of the best trained military men and women. They have quality training, they are good, and so on. But in the military tradition, you must take order from the leader. 
In the military tradition, you must take order from the leader. Therefore, there is something wrong in the office of the commander-in-chief of the, of the Nigerian Armed Forces, which is the headman in APC government. There is something wrong that we don't know. But be that as it may, you know, occasionally, nation building can be very challenging. You wonder what should happen. What is the best approach now? What is happening is so embarrassing. Part of what we've started, you can see the ADC Global Campus. ADC Global Campus, every day, concerned men and women come here to talk to us. That's why we set up this big office. It's a, it's a learning center, but it's a center of excellence where the process of redesigning Nigeria has already begun. We're redesigning Nigeria. All these short-term issues, it's unfortunate, it's painful. It's painful, but you will, you will expect that when we get to this point, that the leader, leadership in place should consult with other stakeholders. We have experts here who can deal with issues, but they have to be consulted because you can talk and speak and do everything and they call, and they call it nonsense. But the important thing is that you are now in a new train. What we saw 16 years ago, what we saw 16 years ago, some people are seeing it now. The youth, the women, most Nigerians, including all of you, you've seen it. Unfortunately, some politicians are leaving their parties to go and join the same party that is causing problems. What do you call that? So 80% of this present position must be flushed away. Thank you very much. Thank you.